as we head into autumn, there is still so much that we can be doing on our growing spaces. And one of those things which is really frugal, environmental and ecological is again our seed saving. Now I've already saved quite a lot of my little nasturtium seeds, which I absolutely love because they look like little brains. But as growers of either fruits, vegetables or flowers, we know that not all seeds are round and they do very different things. Now the best time to be saving your seeds is actually when we have had some dry weather and when it's not windy. However, that's not always possible. So something that you can do is actually take your seeds, um, put them into a bucket, maybe hang them up somewhere so that they are going to be drying off before you try to do something which is called chafing. Not all seeds will need chafing and that basically means that if you have like a metal colander you can just put them into that and rub them and it will get rid of all the bits that aren't seeds and that you don't want although again it depends on what seeds you have now probably i keep saying this one of my favorites are the calendula and calendula are brilliant because they actually look like little claws if you have a look at the actual flower heads when they dry off they just about come to the surface um, and if you see these little cat's claws which are drying on top they are in fact your calendula seeds and again you think about how many seeds you get per flower head and how much it costs when you're buying seed packets it is actually a really good thing to do now we also have the cosmos and cosmos are just beautiful because just inside the flower head again once the flowers have died off you'll be able to see them and they are these little darts and they are really dark now what i need to be doing with these is i need to be storing them i'm not going to be planting them yet maybe sort of if i'm going to overwinter some of my flowers i'll be doing that maybe mid to end november they'll start to grow and germinate in an unheated greenhouse and then when it gets really cold they will go dormant and they will just sit there ready for March, April time next year where we acclimatize them and put them outside. So I need to be putting them in something like a brown paper bag. So I'll do this in a large one as I am collecting the seeds. But once I have chafed them, I will then put them into these smaller brown envelopes. And these are great because they keep them nice and dark and dry which is really really important. Now something else which is very similar to the cosmos seeds are these and these are marigolds so we've got the flower head on this one so this isn't quite dry but these are some that i prepared earlier and again what you'll see is they are like these little darts and these again are our seeds and they have these really dark brown to black ends and the white tips now in nature what will happen is they will just disperse and they will land but our environment is changing. They would and should stay dormant, but if we have a really warm October, November, December time, they will start to grow. And unfortunately, if they start to grow and then we get a frost, they will actually just be wiped out and just die. Now, another one, another one, which is our sunflowers, and they are so beautiful. Now, you usually have sort of still some of the flower head itself over the top, and all you need to do is just wipe that down, and then underneath, something which I think most of us will recognize are the little seeds inside and again store those I won't overwinter these ones though because uh, they just won't actually keep so maybe March April time I will be sowing those inside a greenhouse so the next one I absolutely adore these and these are the hollyhocks now if you ever want to see design in motion and mother nature have a look inside your hollyhock seeds because what you find inside here is you have a round disc which are all your seeds and they are just side on um, and they are stunning i mean what an absolute pleasure of mother nature and for each flower head you'll probably get around 40 or 50 seeds um, so if you're thinking about growing frugally hollyhocks are a brilliant one to do they may take around two years before you actually get flowers although to be honest i have had hollyhocks where i've sown them and they have actually grown within a year now finally the most exciting seeds we probably can have are our exploding seeds now these can be things like our sweet peas and our lupins so i've got some lupin seeds here um now these are a little bit juvenile they aren't dry yet so these will certainly be something that i would hang in a bucket 
and allow them to dry. Now, the reason I'm going to put them in the bucket is because once they are dry, they will explode and they will just throw their seeds everywhere. So you have to be a little bit careful with these ones. And the same is also true with our sweet peas. They have these beautiful pods which will explode if they dry on the plants and they will self-seed. But if we want to save our seeds, very similar. If you have a pea pod, if you've ever podded your peas, you'll see exactly the same things. And we have a very stereotypical round seeds in these ones. And again, these will overwinter really, really well. So lots of seeds we can be looking out for, lots of things that we can be saving, making sure that we are keeping them dry, making sure that we are storing them properly. And if we are overwintering, just check which ones to overwinter and which ones we really need to be saving for a little bit later.